Hey Sagis, welcome to your uh, love reading for July 1st to the 11th for Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter. Oh Sagis, <laughs> when I first started tapping into your energy, I heard that song. I'm not going to sing it, I'm just going to say the lyrics. Um, I believe I'm leaving on a jet plane, don't know when I'm going to be back again. <laughs> it's like, oh my god, that's so Sag, that's so Sag. Sag, I feel like you're doing a lot of fantasizing, a lot of daydreaming about where you'd rather be, honestly. Where you'd rather be it's like you're i feel like some of you are looking around at your life and where you're at or even your workplace your home environment you're just like oh hell when did this happen <laughs> almost like you woke up and you realize that you've been in a little bit of a rut a sad rut that's not like a normal rut for most people uh, it's it's just you've had a lot of mundane sort of energy around you and you're just like Oh my god, I need adventure. Oh my god, I need freedom. A horse is meant to be wild is actually what I heard in the meditative session. A horse is meant to be wild. Um, <laughs> some of you are actually saying, when did I get so tame? <laughs> when did I get so tame? Yeah, I, I feel like some of you are actually like realizing, probably because it's Eclipse energy. I've talked about the energies to death. So please go ahead and check out that video if you'd like where I talk about the first half of July and all the energies at play. Um, and you're just like, oh my God, I woke up however many years later and I don't have my freedom. I don't have my adventure. I'm tied to obligation. It's like a lot of you feel like you've had to put a lot of energy into very obligatory things. And you're just like, well, when did this happen? <laughs> when did I become a slave to obligation as opposed to my happiness and my freedom? You know, Sag, it's kind of, it's kind of a heavy um, realization that you're having here is kind of what I'm getting. Okay. But you're, you're, you're craving that adventure. You're craving that freedom. You're craving to break away and you're doing a lot of daydreaming about it in the process. Some of you are still a little overwhelmed as to how to get that. Cause some of you are, are like daydreaming about it and you're like, well, I can't have that. I have too many obligations. I have too many obligations now and I take care of too many people. I can't have what I really want. Yeah, you can. Sad. Yes, you can. This energy that we're working with is all about getting you to where you want to be, where you need to be, where your soul needs you to be. And Sag, if that's adventure and freedom, that's what you're going to have to figure out how to get, okay? And some of you are trying to figure that out. Others of you, like I said, you've resigned yourself to your obligations to just, I've just accepted this is my fate, even though I'm not fully happy. Careful with that, Sag. Spirit might push you out of that situation real quick, okay? Um, but for those of you where you're wanting to try to achieve it, you're, you're struggling to figure out how. You're overwhelmed by the options, by the thoughts, by the daydreams, by the fantasy of how you can really go about getting this, okay? All right, so let's go ahead and get into the pre-shuffle. Oh, sorry, guys. <laughs> let's go ahead and get into the pre-shuffle and see what the, the cards have to say. So we have Nine of Cups, Piscean Energy, Wish Fulfillment. So, yes, Wish Fulfillment, Emotional Fulfillment. Six of Pentacles, Taurian Energy. High Priestess in Reverse, Piscean Energy, also Gemini for me as a reader. With Queen of Pentacles, Capricorn Energy, could also be Earth or Water. Four of Swords, Libra Energy, and the Eight of Cups, Piscean Energy. So first of all, Sag, look at you. This is what you're daydreaming about. Quite literally, this is what you're daydreaming about. You're daydreaming about fun. You're daydreaming about indulgence. Um, I'm hearing Vigor. I don't know what that's about. I just heard Vigor. I don't know about daydreaming about Vigor, but some of you guys are doing that. Um, and to get more balance back into what your soul is craving, okay? More balance in the emotional fulfillment arena. You might have balance at work. You might have balance with your family, but you're not exactly experiencing balance in the emotional fulfillment arena. You're feeling quite lacking, to be honest with you. And then with the High Priestess in Reverse, with the Queen of Pentacles, you are in a Queen of Pentacles state. Like I said, you have a lot of obligations for the Sagis that I'm picking up on, or you feel like you do. You feel like you have to be very, very loyal, very, um, you know, multitasking, hard worker. I got to balance this. I got to balance that. I got to take care of the household. I got to take care of the kids. I got to do this. I got to do that. Oh, the car, the pet, you know, all of that sort of shit, right? The mundane 3D bullshit is weighing heavy on you, but you're realizing... This isn't really who I am. Wow. Oh, shit, Sag. I didn't think it was going to be a heavy reading like this. Some of you are realizing this life I chose is not who I am. It's not. How did I get here? Damn, that's very sobering, Sag. Okay. For some of you, it's going to be more minor than that. Like, I need a vacation. <laughs> okay, but others, it's, it's more serious as to realizing... Not that you've made the wrong life choices. You haven't. They got you to where you are, and I think you've learned a lot along the way but that it's time to, to really nourish your soul and who you really are, okay? And then we have the Four of Swords and the Eight of Cups. Like I said, some of you going on vacation. Four of Swords is like a rehab energy. So you could be taking a weekend. You could be going to the spa, what have you, resting, recovering, sleeping. But Eight of Cups is telling me that you're moving away, 
moving on towards your ten of cups towards what your emotional fulfillment that's going to be the theme of the month i know some people are already here sick of hearing me say it but it's just true it's just true um and some of you might actually be traveling to do this to go and find your wish fulfillment or your to your your emotional fulfillment some of you might actually be moving um some of you are taking a break from the mundane for some of you the mundane has actually drained you it's actually made you more fatigued because like some people are like that and Sagis in particular have noticed that you guys need a lot of stimulation you guys need to do a lot you need to do a lot and a lot of stimulation which is why Gemini is your counterpart right and that's what it's done to you it's put you in a stagnant rut and you're like fuck this I'm out I'm out I need more excitement than this this is not again I'm just getting this is not who I am wow okay Sag all right let's get into your reading for those who have any confusions, questions, or curiosities on how to interpret tarot reading as a viewer, go ahead and check out the link below. Okay. All right, Sag. Any messages for Sagittarius regarding love, July 1st to the 11th? Some of you are definitely traveling. traveling. I'm seeing planes and clouds, okay? <laughs> or you're just daydreaming about the traveling. Any messages for Sagittarius? Regarding love, July 1st to the 11th. Any messages for Sagittarius regarding love? July 1st to the 11th. Any messages for Sagittarius? Regarding love, July 1st to the 11th. Some of you, honestly, like for a couple of you, you might just move on a whim. Be careful with that, Sag. We do a Mercury retrograde, along with a lot of long haul planets retrograding, as I talked about in that video, okay? Any messages for Sagittarius regarding love? July 1st to the 11th. Okay. Any messages for Sagittarius? Wow. Nine of Swords, Gemini energy, and Three of Wands in reverse Aries energy. Really worried that something's not going to happen, that something's not going to pan out. This is a lot of, oh God, a lot of anxiety. <laughs> A lot of freaking anxiety. Ang anxiety. What is like? Why couldn't I say that for a second? Anxiety. A lot of anxiety here, Sag. Really worried something's not going to happen the way you need it to happen. Also, again, I'm getting this like fear of like losing freedom, fear of mundane, fear of being too tame, fear that you're never going to have an adventure again. Some of you are afraid you're never going to have an adventure again. Sad, you will. You're sad, you will. <laughs> Trust me. Judgment. Fire energy, also scorpionic energy for me as a reader. Making the right judgment call for you is actually what I'm getting. Making, making the right choices for you. Ooh, sad, regardless of the consequences. Again, be very careful with that, especially those of you who have families, like, you know, babies and kids and stuff. Be very mindful of the energy. You're, it's, it's, okay, it's sad. I'm just the messenger, okay? I'm just the messenger. I'm getting a little bit of borderline desperation for freedom. Like you've been craving it. You've been thirsty for it. Like your soul's been so deprived for so long. Um, but this can also be reconciliation energy. Um, it's also like a confirmation stamp from spirit as well. That things are in the right place. Things are happening the right way. And just to have confidence in that. Let's see what else we got. Any messages for Sagittarius regarding love, July 1st to the 11th? Any messages for Sagittarius regarding love, July 1st to the 11th? Any messages for Sagittarius regarding love, July 1st to the 11th? Oh, all right. Now we've got the Page of Pentacles. Oh. Oh, this is... Oh. Oh, okay. They just showed me... It's weird they showed me that. It's like... It was an animated visual. <laughs> they literally showed me an animated wolf, but like very like aggressive, snarling. Ooh. Ooh, Sag. I don't like that energy. I don't like that energy. It's very off-putting. God, even the way this illustration looks, I never realized. If you look at her up close, if it'll focus, maybe. Oh, damn it. I just had it. Maybe like that. There we go. She looks a little menacing. Does she not? Does she not? Sag, I don't like this. Um, I feel like it's an onlooker. It's an onlooker. So it's also like someone on the periphery. This is interesting what they're showing me. Um, Sag, for some of you, this is someone. Oh, oh, sorry, itchy nose from all the downloads. 
Saj, for some of you, it's like, this is someone who's been trying to kind of keep you a little tame. Oh my God. <laughs> Sorry, curls are all over the place today. This is someone who's been trying to keep you relatively tame or keep tabs on you. I'm getting tabs and it's like a big circle. It's like snarling, watching from afar and they can see you're getting antsy, right? They can see you're getting antsy, which is why, again, you're in this, like you're very overwhelmed in the headspace of how do you get your, your true emotional fulfillment back because like i said some of you have been in a very big rut or mundane kind of energy and just like oh my god how did i get to a place of just being obligated to people um oh i don't like it but they have been keeping tabs on you for some it is it is very threatening i gotta be honest sag i don't like this wait didn't we have this last week where like you were discovering some menacing person menacing person some of you, this is a family member. I got to be honest. Some of you, this is a family member. It's someone who doesn't want you to be free. Someone who doesn't want you to be your wild self. Someone who doesn't want you to find your full emotional fulfillment because like in some way they lose something because of it. That could be ego. That could be totally all up in their head. That could be totally illusionary. Um, either way, I don't like it. Someone's got their eyes on you and it, it's they're snarling. Okay, they're snarling at you. Um, on the bottom, we have, wow, we've got, whoa, oh my god, King of Cups in reverse, Scorpionic energy, you could be a Sag, Scorp, Cusper, also water and air, and underneath that, we have a Queen of Cups, Cancerian energy, it could also be Pisces or Scorpio, we have a true pair, but one is clearly not happy, one is clearly not happy here, one is very emotionally unavailable, while the other one is full of, like, life, Sag, I feel like you're actually coming across as this Queen of Cups, you're full of life, and you're craving more of it. You're craving more of it. And I feel like you are kind of bonded to someone who is a true pair. So someone from your soul tribe, at the very least a soulmate, at the very least a soulmate, who is really keeping emotions under wrap because deep down they're not very emotionally stable. Underneath that, though, we do have four of cups with a six. Wow, a lot of water, guys. Oh, my God. Look at that. More water. Four of cups in a verse. Cancer energy. Six of cups. More scorpionic energy. Past life karmic soulmate energy with seven of cups in a verse. More scorpionic energy. Okay. There's a rejection that's taken place here. There's a rejection that's taken place. Sad, you might be rejecting this person out of your life because you just can't take it anymore. You just can't take not being yourself. I feel like some of you sacrifice being who you truly are out of obligation. And you're tired of it. You can't have it anymore. And someone is snarling in response to it. Some of you, this is three people. Like not just you and one person. Some of you, this is like also someone who's been keeping watch, keeping tabs, who's probably tied to the other person, okay? Very immature energy. Wow. Okay, let's get into this. Let's get into this. Let's look at um, the three of wands in reverse and see what it is that it's like you've been craving, needing. Again, I'm getting adventure, but let's see. Something that you're afraid you'll never have. Tell me about three of wands in reverse. I know, it was a heavy-ass reading, sad shit. <laughs> Tell me about three of wands in reverse. I feel like some of you are like, oh my god. Yeah, this is heavy. Tell me about three of wands in reverse for Sagittarius regarding love. July 1st to the 11th. Tell me about three of wands in reverse for Sagittarius regarding love. July 1st to the 11th. Tell me about three of wands in reverse for Sagittarius. Regarding love, July 1st to the 11th. Tell me three of wands in reverse for Sagittarius. Regarding love, July 1st to the 11th. Oh, come on, Sag. Tell me about three of wands in reverse for Sagittarius. Regarding love, come on, start talking to me. July 1st to the 11th. Oh, Sag, some of you, this is a very deeply buried thing because it's just been too um, difficult. Hangman in reverse, Piscean energy. Waking up. Again, it's like waking up. Like, wait, wait, what did I just say right earlier? First time, like, you're waking up and realizing, oh, shit, how did I get here? How did I get here? Realizing you need more growth, too. Some of you realize, oh, wow, the sun, Leo energy. Oh, come back. Realizing you need what? Freedom. Freedom and fulfillment and joy. And you're terrified you're never going to experience that again. Tell me about three of wands in reverse for Sagittarius. Regarding love. 
this periphery person is really distracting me. <laughs> oh, they're really distracting me. Sag, you might be pulling away from someone towards someone else. Because, I mean, why would someone be so threatened by you gaining more freedom? Someone's feeling very threatened, very threatened, very much on alert. Intruder, right? Intruder. Tell me about three of wands in reverse. Tell me about three of wands in reverse. For Sagittarius regarding love, July 1st to the 11th. If some of you are in a very, like, possessive, abusive relationship, please leave. I feel like that's also for some of you. Please leave. Tell me about three of wands in reverse. Tell me about three of wands in reverse for Sagittarius regarding love. All right, now we have, wow, we've got page of cups with the six of cups. Scorpionic energy could also be um, past life soulmate karmic energy here, okay? Oh, boy. Someone's apologizing. Someone's apologizing to you for all the things that have happened. Wanting to. They're wanting to. Their pride is getting in the way. Their pride's getting in the way. They do care about you. They do have a lot of emotion for you. Yeah, I, I feel like someone's coaxing you out of this, Sag. I feel like someone's co coaxing you out of this situation of feeling very trapped and confined. And like, again, being afraid you're never going to get freedom. Overall energy... For the Three of Wands in reverse, we do have the Three of Swords. Libra energy, that's pain, discomfort, let down. I just heard let down. Could also be third party energy. We do have the Seven of Cups underneath, which is options, right? Yeah, like I said, for some of you, this is definitely like a meddling third person, maybe even fourth person energy where you're being coaxed out of a situation that is not conducive to you. Um, it's not part of who you are. It's not making you happy. It's making you anxiety ridden. It's making you feel like you'll never be back to who you are. And you're being coaxed out of that. But at the same time, it's like there's an apology coming in for some bullshit that's gone down. That apology is only for some of you, not for all of you. There's a lot going on here, Sag. No wonder you're overwhelmed. You're getting a little bombarded too. You're getting a little bombarded. You're trying so hard to focus on yourself, but you're getting bombarded by other people's bullshit. It's that ob ob obligation I'm getting again. It's all these obligations. Sag, you have too many obligations. I feel like I've said this to you before. Your plate is full. You have too many obligations. It's making you anxiety ridden. You're not getting sleep. And at the same time, you're realizing you're not happy and that you need to be happy. But there's this fear like you can never do it because of all these obligations. You just got to lighten your load. You just got to lighten your load. And like I said, for some of you, there is a little bit of like meddling external people keeping tabs on you. Um, they have their own agendas, Sag. Yeah, okay. They've got their own agendas. They've got their own agendas. Be mindful of that. You want to be free, you might gotta you might have to do it solo. All right. It's just what I'm getting. Um, I'm really curious about this energy though. So let's look into this page of cups and the six of cups. I'm also getting a lot of nostalgia. I think you're looking back on what your life used to be like. And yeah, it's like you're craving that again. You're craving that again. Where's my kipper deck? Where's Kipper? Oh, there it is. It disappeared on me. Okay. Using the Kipper deck on the Page of Cups, all right? Tell me about this Page of Cups energy for Sagittarius. Tell me about Page of Cups. Interesting. We have house and unexpected income. <laughs> I just heard incoming. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Yeah, you're not expecting this apology. This is definitely someone from the past and definitely someone that could um you could have lived with at one point or someone that is in your family because it is the house. Could some of you be gaining money? Sure, but this is definitely about emotion. And I feel like it's just something incoming that you're not expecting. But it is like an emotional exchange. It's going to make you feel a little bit better, but it's not going to make you happy. Tell me about Page of Cups. For Sagittarius, regarding love, July 1st to the 11th. Yeah, it's actually, I'm finding it to be, it's bother, it's actually bothersome to you. Wow, great fortune. Oh my gosh. Great fortune can mean a lot of things, guys. It's kind of like the Ten of Pentacles, where it's, it's abundance in a tangible sense and like quality time or feeling wealthy. 
feeling rich. This person who's coming in is like, they're coming across as a page and usually I don't like knock pages because it means sincerity, but I am feeling it's like, it is about their, their maturity. There, it's almost like um, they think what they're offering is better than it actually is. Yeah, it's better than it actually is. Yeah, see, I don't like these people. It's like these external energies around you, Sag, they all have their own agendas. They've all got their own agendas. I'm sorry. I'm, it, and it's like, it's actually bothering me and it's going to bother you. So we have a page of cups for Sagittarius. That's it. On the bottom, oh, look. <laughs> Distant horizons. There's distance here, emotional distance. Oh, and then we have journey. <laughs> so you're just daydreaming about heading out. Even when this person is like trying to offer you some kind of apology or some kind of token, again, you're like, this is not as great as you think it is. <laughs> it's like you might even tell that person this and they're like, you know what? I've been daydreaming and fantasizing about getting away. I'm just going to do it. I'm just going to do it. This ain't shit. This ain't making me happy. That's all you have to offer me. That's all you have to offer me. You, you clearly think you, it's like you're clearly coming in very cocky. Someone's coming in cocky. Let's look at judgment. <laughs> Sag, all of a sudden I'm getting a lot of sassiness from you. <laughs> I think you're just fed up and I don't blame you. I'm um, using Alice in Wonderland to clarify. Tell me about judgment. Tell me about judgment for Sagittarius regarding love, July 1st to the 11th. I think this, some, this is someone you've known for a long time or someone you met when you were much younger. Possibly even like child. I say child because it's like everyone thinks of child as a different age. So I'll say child. Could even be like high school or college. Tell me about judgment. Tell me about judgment for Sagittarius. Regarding love, July 1st to the 11th. And then we're going to get into this page because I can feel some sinister shit there. Tell me about judgment <laughs> for Sagittarius regarding love. July 1st to the 11th. Someone has a really big inflated sense of self. It's coming in really strong off that page now. Tell me about judgment. Okay, card explosion. Let's see what we got here. Interesting. Knight of Pentacles in reverse. Virgo energy could also be Earth or uh, Fire with the Fool. Aries energy could also be Aquarius because this is a Uranus card. I feel like you're the Fool here and you're dealing with the Knight of Pentacles in reverse. The right judgment call is for you to go off in down the rabbit hole of adventure, Sag, and freedom. That is, that is exactly what, you, yeah, that's exactly what's needed here. That's exactly what's needed here. You've got, you're messing around with someone who's very stubborn, very stuck in their ways. I'm actually hearing stick in the mud as well. Stick in the mud, very, very earthy energy, which can be nice sometimes that you're just like, you've had it. It's like, it's too mundane. It's just not who you are. It's just not who you are. So you're going off into, on a jet plane. Don't know when you're going to be back again. <laughs> Tell me about judgment for Sagittarius regarding love. Two of swords, moon and Libra energy. You've really struggled with this choice, Sag. I think you have a lot of emotion for whoever it is that you've been dealing with, who's a bit of a stick in the mud. This person from the past, it could be this person trying to like make you feel better, but I do feel like it's more of a past person that is just kind of surprising you. That's what I mean by you're bombarded. This person from the past is trying to apologize for shit and you're like, I don't fucking care. Um, and you're also dealing with someone who's a bit of a stick in the mud, even though they are a great match for you, they're just emotionally are not that available. And it's all bombarding you because at the end of the day, you're not happy within your, your own life. You're being, being bombarded by three major things right now. No wonder you want to run away. But you did struggle with this choice, or you will struggle with this choice. Tell me about judgment. And then you got this page of pentacles. We're going to get into that. Tell me about judgment for Sagittarius regarding love, July 1st to the 11th. Tell me about judgment for Sagittarius regarding love. July 1st to the 11th. Oh, that's it. Overall energy. Ooh. Oh, we've got an emperor. Aries energy, Taurus energy, divine masculine energy. Oh my. Uh, this king of cups in reverse is most likely this emperor for you. Others? You're heading towards an emperor. Like I said, I felt like some of y'all got someone you're heading towards. 
So take that as it resonates. Some of you are heading towards an emperor-like figure. Some of you, your emperor is just way too emotionally unavailable, way too mundane, stuck in the mud, stick in the mud, too earthy, too stubborn. You need more adventure than that. And you're falling down the rabbit hole to do it. Okay. But either way, an emperor is crowning this energy of judgment, of making the right decision when it comes to this person. Emperor is someone who is very fatherly, could be like a father figure, grandfather figure, male or female, doesn't matter. It's just the energy they harness. Um, someone who's usually built a business, usually an, an, a business owner or a manager, CEO, lawyer, judge, someone who holds power rank, someone who can also be in the military, someone who rolls with the iron fist, essentially, okay? And who likes to rule. That is a big clue, I think, for a lot of you. Let's go to this page. Let's go to this angry wolf over here. I don't like it. It feels very maniacal. I really don't like it. But they're very immature. They're a page, right? They're a page. So I'm not too worried because you're a queen, um, regardless if you're male or female. I'm going to use Gilded Tarot to clarify this one. They're drawing me to the Kipper deck, though. Mm. Okay, hold on. Kipper or Gilded? Gilded. Okay, Gilded. If we need the Kipper deck, we'll pull it out. Tell me about Page of Pentacles. So, Sag, like I said, just to paraphrase, I feel I feel confusion from you guys. You guys got a lot going on, okay? I'm looking at a Sag or Sag Collective that has a really sad apology from someone from the past that you're not expecting. That's just compounding your situation of dealing with a King of Cups in reverse, who's, again, for some of you is your emperor. Some of you is your emperor. And that's two factors right there. Two factors right there. And this King of Cups in Reverse has caused such a mundane energy in your life. And it's like you're realizing how unhappy you are. And you're afraid you're never going to get back to who you really are. That third factor is a lot to deal with on it, all on its own. And others, there's a sub B group where you're heading towards an emperor away from a King of Cups in Reverse. That's a lot of shit to deal with. No wonder you're anxiety ridden. No wonder you're stressed. No wonder you're tired. No wonder you're running to run away. I would run away too. Okay. Tell me about the Page of Pentacles. <laughs> Someone just touched my head. Anyway. Okay. Tell me about Page of Pentacles. For, I didn't like that. If that was one of you, don't do that again, please. Tell me about Page of Pentacles for Sagittarius. Regarding love, July 1st to the 11th. Tell me about Page of Pentacles for Sagittarius regarding love, July 1st to the 11th. Tell me about Page of Pentacles for Sagittarius regarding love, July 1st to the 11th. Whoa, Sag. This is crazy. So this is a page. And I just felt it was immaturity. I feel like for most of you, this person's actually about your age or older. A small group of you, this is your child. I'm sorry for talking shit about your child, but for some of you, this is your child. Regardless of how old they are and you are. Tell me about Page of Pentacles. For Sagittarius regarding love. July 1st to the 11th. Tell me about the Page of Pentacles for Sagittarius regarding love. July 1st to the 11th. Sag, just run. Just run away. Just run away. <laughs> Even if it's just for a week, just run away. You need it. You, you, need, you need it. You need it for your soul. Tell me about Page of Pentacles for Sagittarius. Wow, these cards do not want to talk. Tell me about Page of Pentacles for Sagittarius. Afraid to talk. Sag, some of you are in a, some of you are in a bit of a, an abusive relationship with this King of Cups in reverse, okay? Almost like you're afraid to speak any truth. Speak your truth, Sag. You speak your truth. Oh, wow. Yeah, this sinister person. Look at the Six of Pentacles, Taurian energy, and Nine of Swords, Gemini energy. I feel like this sinister person is actually worried about you finding balance, about you finding your stability again, about you coming, also coming into some money. Some of you are coming into some money. Um, they're worried about that. They don't want you to have that. Wow. Tell me about Page of Pentacles. For Sagittarius, regarding love, July, <laughs> yeah, see, Ace of Pentacles, 
They don't want you to find stability. They don't want you to go off into the new. They don't want you to find your balance, your stability, your freedom, your self. They don't want you to find yourself again. Seven of Cups, Scorpionic Energy. They see that you have a lot of options. They don't like it. They hate that. You have a lot of ways of going about this, Sag. But you are so overwhelmed that I think it's hard for you to see that. Tell me about Page of Pentacles for Sagittarius. Tell me about Page of Pentacles for Sagittarius. Regarding love, July 1st to the 11th. Tell me about Page of Pentacles for Sagittarius regarding love. Okay. Now we've got, wow. Just wow. So with that Seven of Cups, we have the Ace of Swords, the Sword of Truth. With the King of Pentacles in reverse, Taurian energy could also be Earth or Air. You came out as the Queen of Pentacles in your pre-shuffle. And the overall energy for the page is the Queen the queen of pentacles. Capricorn energy could also be earth or water. You got a king, a queen, and a page. I got to be honest with what I get, guys. Some of you, um, your spouse or co-parenting partner is using the child here um, to keep tabs on you. And that is not cool. That is so, that is not cool. Either way, this person's a little sinister. Um, and it's because they're not grounded it's because they don't have inner peace for themselves. They And like I said, they know you have options. They know you have options, Sad. You can go and find your stability if you want to, but you need to wake up to that. You need to wake up to that. This person knows, which is why they're keeping tabs. And some, like I said, are using a child in the process of doing that, which I think is bullshit. And it is a child that you two either share or co-parent with. It could be just, um, it's one of your children. It could also be a case like that. And I, if that's the case, I think it's their child, not yours. Um, but anyway, they're very ungrounded. They're very ungrounded. They're overly focused on themselves and what they need, what they want, and they see of options and they hate it. That's why they're snarling. That's why they're snarling. For some of you, this emperor is this king of cups, king of pentacles in reverse. Others, you're good, heading towards an emperor away from this individual. Wow. All in the midst of that, like I said, you're going to be getting a sad ass apology from someone that you're just like, I don't even, I don't even care. I don't fucking care. <laughs> All the while, all the while, I know this is a little stressful. All the while, you're like, how do I be happy? As you're being bombarded by all this craziness. Anyway, let's get some advice for you, Sag. Oh my God, I feel for you guys. This is rough. This is rough energy. And it's really unfortunate that someone who is such a compatible person for you is so low vibrational or in such negative energy that they have to do this bullshit. Like, honest to God, some of them literally have their child or a child you share keeping tabs on you, reporting back to them on your on what on what's going on. If that's the case, I don't think you well, no, some of you do some of you are in the home with this person. But they use the child to like keep tabs on you while you're not home. And others this is like this is someone you've already had a bit of a separation from and they're still keeping tabs on you. Jesus. Anyway. Sag, just run away. Go just get on a plane. Decide to come back another time. Just just do it. Just do it. You need it. You so need it. You so need it. Any advice for my Sagittarians regarding this spread? Any advice for my Sagittarians regarding this spread? I mean, this person, this king, whoever this king is to you, has you so bogged down, Sag, that you're just like, am I ever going to be free? Am I ever going to be happy again? You will. You just got to realize that you have a lot of options of going about it. Okay? Any advice for my Saggies regarding this spread? Any advice for my Saggies? Come on. Regarding this spread? Any advice for my Saggies regarding this spread? Any advice for my Saggies regarding this spread? Any advice for my Saggies regarding this spread? Ooh. Oh, I love it. Sag, okay, it's actually bringing back to my Sedona trip, and I think that's because it's the same lesson here for you. Buffalo spirit, the abundant universal provides. Cyclical energy, get out of this cycle now. It's not making you happy. In fact, it's stifling you. It's keeping you oppressed. Get out of it, all right? Now, the abundant universal provide. When I had to do my Sedona trip, 
because it was very clear I had to do it. I didn't know how I was going to afford it because at that time I, I wasn't really making money yet from YouTube and I was like so broke. And I was like, how are we going to get to Sedona? And I was like, you know what? If the universe wants me there, they'll take care of me. And I made a GoFundMe account and I ended up being able to pay for the trip. The universe will provide, Sag. All right, just get on that plane and go. <laughs> All right. Now, if you have children, of course, like I said, you got to be responsible. And I said that in the beginning, be responsible in your choices, but you need your freedom right now. And it, you need your sanity in the process as well. But just know that the universe will provide. If the universe wants you out of this, it will help you out of this and help you um, sustain yourself on your own. Okay. Any advice for my Sagis regarding this spread? Because I don't like the abuse that I'm picking up for a couple of you. It's really bothering me. Uh, bat spirit. A rebirth is assured with the number five. A rebirth is assured, Sag. You will have that freedom again. You will be reborn as the person that you truly are. Okay? Because this ain't who you are. You know it. You're screaming. Your higher self is screaming it at you. Get out of this. It's time to go back to who you are. Okay? Let's see what else we've got. Any advice for my Saggies regarding this spread? It's going to be hard and it might be painful, but it's going to be so worth it. Any advice for my Saggies regarding this spread? Any advice for my Saggies regarding this spread? All right, let's see what you've got here. We've got, oh, very, oh, that's so funny. I feel like you guys are the only sign that gets this card. Watch your words, honestly. <laughs> Anyway, armadillo spirit, um, set healthy boundaries with parrot spirit. Watch your words. <laughs> Three and 45, bring it down to a nine. Um, setting boundaries with this person. My God, setting boundaries with this person. <sighs> Again, like I said, this spying energy, this like angry wolf energy is really toxic, really maniacal, and I don't like it. I don't like it. It's very threatening. I really don't like it, Sag, and I don't think you do either. It's time to set those boundaries. And with watch your words, I actually don't think it's about staying contained. It's what I was picking up on earlier, right? It's like you feel like you can't speak. You feel like you can't speak in this situation. It's time to speak. It's time to speak and lay down some boundaries with them, all right? Be blunt. Be your blunt self. Be a little firm. Be a little scary if you have to. Um, your happiness and your mental sanity is at play here. It's time to do what's best for you. Overall energy, we have pig spirit. Use your mind wisely. 47 breaking down to an 11 here. There, the third eye chakra is really highlighted here. You guys are the intuitive fire sign. July, there's going to be a lot of um, amplification of intuition for anyone who's intuitive. And just for, you know, people who are not so intuitive are going to feel a little spidey sense come online. Um you know the way out of this, Sag. You got to be honest with yourself. And you got to be honest with what your gut's telling you. If you got to get out, get out. Especially for those in abusive relationships. Use your words. Use your words because you can speak. No one can make you not speak. You can speak. All right. Speak and set those boundaries. And the universe will take care of you as you get out of this situation. Okay. And you will feel, feel like yourself again. You will be reborn into who you're supposed to be. I know this was a really intense one, guys. Um, and like I said, take my advice, you know, um, but no, sorry, how do I say this? Not just take my advice. <laughs> um, take my advice with your, with your own discernment. Okay. You're all adults. It's your life. If you've got kids, especially really use your own discernment here. Your happiness and mental health is really important, but so are, you know, your families or your kids. So use, you know, use your mind wisely. Okay. <laughs> all right, guys. I uh, hope you guys enjoy. Well, I don't know that was intense to enjoy but I hope you found it insightful and helpful don't forget to go on Patreon and check that out along with Facebook Instagram and Twitter and I will see you guys later have a great night Sag namaste